In this video, we're going to be talking about my paint booth and the materials and design that I use to construct it. So the booth itself is just 2x4 studs framed on the 24s with half inch drywall over the top. I didn't mud the drywall because if I can avoid mudding and sanding drywall, then I'm going to. And I wanted to build this in such a way that I could remove it if I ever needed to. The door is just the cheapest door at Menards. Um, and then we've got the intake, which is a two foot by two foot air filter, uh, four inches thick pleated, which gives me an enormous amount of uh, filtration surface area. And then these controls here, I've got lights. And then this one is fan and also controls that outlet there so that I can turn this fan on simultaneously with the fan inside the booth. So this is my atmosphere manipulation department. I've got my dust collector, which spans throughout the entire shop. I've got a 26 gallon, 150 PSI compressor, which is more than enough for spray painting guitar bodies. And then this is the air intake assist for the booth. So I set this fan up in a very specific configuration here. One, so I could move it over to the window and blow in air from outside if I don't want to use air from inside the shop. Two, I distanced it from the filter so that the fan wouldn't be stalling from too much pressure in front of the blades. This way the fan can just operate as normal and all the pressure is located here against the filter to allow a maximum amount of air to flow through. Uh, this fan is always kept on low and the reason for that is, is I found that on medium or high I was actually generating quite a bit of overpressure inside the room. I determined this simply by pushing the door two and then seeing if it was sucked in or blown out uh, on medium or high i mean the door moved pretty significantly and without any fan it would actually suck it closed so on low it achieves a really nice balance between intake and uh exhaust air flows so this is the view of the paint booth from the doorway uh it's a five by eight booth so it's not huge but it's big enough for my needs I've got uh, the cabinets that were here for storage space. I've got a mixing table that's in the fresh air flow. I've got the exhaust panel and I've got a mobile guitar stand. So the exhaust panel is just this uh, fiberglass filter specifically designed to catch paint particulate matter. It comes in a big roll and uh, it's much more cost effective if you can afford to just buy the roll. Um, the mounting system for this is really simple. It is just a piece of chicken wire that I've stapled to the frame and then I took the pokey ends along of the chicken wire, stuck it out, and that allows me to, to catch the filter on there. Makes it really easy to take it on and off. You'll also notice that uh, I used a piece of scrap plywood to create a baffle. This is so that the air that's being pulled up here isn't concentrated at the top but instead gives me more even airflow throughout the entire face of the cabinet. And to put this back on, I just stretch it kind of taut and then impale it on the chicken wire and good to go. The exhaust itself is a 10 inch explosion proof fan. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it was a, a good little chunk of change, uh, but it's pretty well rated and I've been impressed with it. Uh, not only does it move a lot of air, it seems to handle a fair bit of static back pressure and still still able to push that air through. The fan itself, I believe, is rated at about 1,800 cubic feet a minute. Uh, based on wind speed measurements I've gotten from the surface of this and from the surface of the intake filter, I think I'm sitting right around 1,000 cubic feet per minute total output. Uh, which is pretty good because that gets me a linear speed at the filter of around 100 to 150 um, linear feet per minute and that is a, a nice good pull. One I'm... thing about this setup is that this box basically acts like a speaker box for the noise of the fan. Uh, it is quite loud in here to the point that I prefer to work in here with uh, ear protection. Uh, I've been trying to think of ways that I could possibly reduce that. I've got some mass loaded vinyl kicking around uh, so maybe I could cover the inside and outside of the cabinet and that help kind of reduce some of that noise. But I haven't haven't quite figured that out yet. Let's go ahead and turn on the fan. You can hear the noise from outside the booth. And let's go ahead and go inside.
Uh, so my guitar stand is really simple, just built out of two by fours and framing nails. Uh, I've got a hole here for the pipes I use to mount the guitar bodies. And because I smash the end of the pipe like this, uh, when I pull it through here like this, it actually will lock it into position so I can twist and lock and it won't turn. The casters are just some leftover casters I had for a chair. So the mixing table Again, nothing special, just some OSB, a couple of split 2x4s. I placed it here in the airflow so that when I'm mixing things, I'll get uh, all the fumes pulled and exhausted out. In addition to that, I mounted some hooks on the bottom so I have a place to hang necks and bodies while they're dry. So for the ceiling, what I've done is cover up the fiberglass with the ceiling tiles that I just uh, screwed with one and a quarter inch drywall screws. Seems to be holding pretty well. Uh, on top of that, I've got six of these three foot long LED light tubes. Uh, they produce enough light that it gets about 400 lumens per square foot in this uh, 4x8 area. Uh, so that works out really well. Uh, I also chose 4000K lights. In fact, I use 4000K lights throughout my shop. I really don't like lights that are too yellow or too blue. And I think that this natural daylight color not only uh, gives better color reproduction, I find that I can see small details easier in, the, in this color of light. Uh, it's just a lot less stressful on the eyes, and so I, I prefer this over other light colors. Uh, in addition to the light on the ceiling... Uh, I also have an additional two LED tubes here, so I can have more light while I'm mixing... Uh, here at the table and it does cast a little bit of light out over into the rest of the room as well so that gives me a, a pretty strong lighting solution for this space. I went ahead and lined the floor with plastic uh, just to make cleanup easier and to protect the cement floor. So yeah that's my paint booth I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns or want some answers to something that I didn't cover uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. I definitely read every single comment and respond to most of them. There's links in the description to some of the parts I use. You can find those on Amazon. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.